<laughs> well, hello everybody and welcome to the barn. It has been quite a long time. So as you guys know, Vern's working. And uh, well, it's time for Ninja's Feet. So uh, come along on this journey because guess who's here to fill in for Vern today and we've got some stuff to teach him. Let's give him some barn love. I can't believe they talked me into this. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, welcome to the vlog, and we're starting here at the barn because, like I said, Veronica is busy, and the farrier's here to do horse feet step. You know, Clyde, you know what I'm talking about, Clyde, look at you. Eat that hay, but I don't really know what to do, or I'm just going to take all of Tessa's direction, because you know, she knows what to do. And Ninja, we're going to get you taken care of today, old bud, okay? Hi, oh, dude. What's up, buddy? She said, I gotta get him out and put him in the cross ties. Not sure what that means. Do I need a lead or something? He's got one. That's it? Thank we have you. another surprise, Chase. Another surprise? We have our vet here today. He's also getting a follow-up on vaccinations. Did you know that? I didn't know that. That's the wrong spot to hook, honey. Oh, right great. here. Right here. <laughs> Don't hang your horse weight in the cross ties. Okay. Good, right? Vern, if you ever send your husband to do this stuff again, oh my goodness, girl. <laughs> so Dan's taking the horseshoes off the front of Ninja's hoofs. And you, you, what are you shaping them, making them look right or flat mm -hmm. or? Yep, they gotta be level. Oh. It's a whole big process, right? Gotta shape it to the foot. Okay. This is me wildly crash course learning about horses and hooves and horseshoes and farriers. And <laughs> Seriously though, I show up here, he's working on a horse before him. I thought it was a WWE wrestling match. That horse did not want his feet messed with, did he? He was just... Just trying to keep his feet away from the ferry. He's like, no, nope, not today, boy. But you're doing good, Ninja. You're a good boy. Tessa told me you're 20 years old. Did you know? You're 20? That was a good horse impression, <laughs> wasn't it? <laughs> Does that sound like Mr. Ed? It didn't sound like <laughs> I know, this guy over here just went like crazy. <laughs> Why do horses wear horseshoes? For the same reason people wear shoes, just to protect the foot. Oh. Okay. So it's just protection. So, so okay, so we've seen, um, maybe you saw Roman's video where he said the donkey had a chipped hoof. That protects the hooves from chipping? Mm -hmm. And if you get a chipped hoof, that's bad, why? Because that's the foot falling apart. Oh, okay, so yeah, that's wall. bad to protect the inside of the foot, which is the sensitive structures. Right, like this this interior part here? Well, everything inside the foot, inside the hoof capsule. Oh. The wall here protects everything inside. Oh, okay. So if that chips away too much. It's no good. It's not good. Not good at all. I figure today, if I'm gonna learn too, you might as well learn with me. The vets are here and they're super official with like uh, needles and stuff. This is Dr. Short. Ah. Do hey, <laughs> hey doc, what are you going to do? We're going to vaccinate him against diseases. That's probably good. Yeah. <laughs> Go for it. Oh my gosh. I'm nervous right now. Is this normal? <laughs> oh look, he's, he's chill. He's cool with that. Just a pinch. Nice. And you put him in the same place on both sides? Yeah. In the oh, muscle, nice he's muscle. super happy about this. Yeah, he doesn't seem to mind too much. No, he's he's super kosher. Oh, he didn't like that. He didn't like that one. He knew it was coming. Right? You must have strong hands, Nathan. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> See, if I was handed that needle and you said vaccinate the horse, who knows where I would have put it? Just saying. So, five hours later. <laughs> I'm kidding, no. This dude's quick. He's good at it. Dan, the farrier man, knocked it out. New shoes. Ninja's all done. You ready to go back to your stall there, Ninja? That's a good boy, man. He did really good. Did he do good? Yeah. He wasn't too bad. Pretty good today. 
But I was told if things went really well today, then I'd be asked to come and do this more often. So he was like, you should tell Veronica that Ninja was awful. And Dan the Farrier fired me and threw his rasp at me. <laughs> so I can't ever come back. But he honestly did really good, so. All right, so that part of the day's done. Let's get out of here. Hi, Dad. How was school? Good. Yeah? yeah? What do you think about this weather? Good. It's like wicked nice. We did have some storms today. And uh, after the storms rolled through, all the humidity that was in the it air, it wasn't, it's all gone. It, it wasn't feels rain. amazing. It was just thunder and lightning. There was rain too. It poured here. So many on me. Let me get some of that. Mm. Just pull it with your teeth. Like this. Oh, I forgot. I put the whole thing in my mouth. Here. Let me try again. You're always good. Pull it. Yes. Oh, good. Oh, I love sour worm. You sour gummy worms? Mmm. They're not even sour. I guess they're not that sour, are they? There. We were previewing uh, Roman's loaf from yesterday. Sorry. As you guys know, you know, on my off days, I try and do other things. And yesterday, I was filming with Roman, and the clips turned out amazing. I always like to see how that footage gets put to use. It looked really well. And late last night, Tom Mabe was driving home from up in Connecticut. So it was really cool. Tom called me and was like, yo, I'm gonna be driving past your house. It'd be nice to see you guys. So we got to spend some time with Tom last night. I'm sorry you guys missed that, but it was fun. It was good to see Tom for sure. All right, you ready to go get Lizzie? Let's go. Mm. What do you got? Oh, we're getting up Liza in on the gummy worm game. <laughs> Did you miss daddy? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I miss you too, Let's big girl. Guess. You like that? I went on my mm. dog's arboretum trip. Yeah? You went mm -hmm. to the tree place? Mm-hmm. Mm. Look at this. I'm super, super bummed out about that. I'm, 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 I'm not supposed to be breaking out. I should have clear skin. Oh, you know what it is? I ran out of body soap, body wash. I'm using Veronica's and every time I do that, it's bad news. I think it, I think I got sensitive skin. It's so sensitive. Oh, I mean, we had a few good days in a row, but you gotta expect a little bit of rain in the springtime, which is fine. Gave me some, some, some time to finish the uh, video I was working on. It looks so nice, and I mean, the person that this video was created for is gonna flip. Probably gonna cry. I mean, I kinda tear up a little bit seeing it. <gasps> Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? Oh, I know. You don't like that rain either, do you? I honestly think Echo's afraid of the lightning. Because... Otherwise, she wouldn't be on my lap like this. <laughs> this is her favorite video. It straight up reminds me of a recurring nightmare I've had. Isn't that just like the best husband on earth? That girl gets home, you got a plate of spaghetti ready for you. Are you hungry? Don't even tell me that. <laughs> just finished dinner, right? And I got a text from Dave. I sent him a preview of the project that I'm working on for him. This is what he said. Wow, wow, wow. I'm perfect fine with this just the way it is. I'm like, yeah, dude. Show her that joint. This is just amazing. When someone tells you that they love it, it's perfect. It's just amazing. When you create something for them, right? Okay. And they give you that kind of feedback. 
You're doing something right. Okay. Write that down. Good job. It's bedtime. These guys gotta go to bed. And it's an important day for Carson tomorrow. Why? Because what are you doing tomorrow, Carson? I have a play. You're in a play. Like a real legit play? Like you're gonna be like a character and you're gonna act and everything? Well, not exactly. You'll see tomorrow. <laughs> Look, Daddy's vlogging. <laughs> wait, we're gonna see tomorrow? Oh, uh, you'll see. Why wait? Uh, uh, <laughs> are you racing Bobby in the play? Is he down there? Be careful, little Mommy, mess. Going down that slide. She's going to the big slide. We gotta wait for Carson to get out of there. It's a pre play wrap up deal. So we're just playing on the playground. She's going. Woo, Liza. Carson, you played the best spider I've ever seen in my life. Seriously, dude. High five. High fives for that. Oh yeah. So yeah, that was a that was a fun performance, nice little kids kids deal. And that's pretty much where we're going to wrap up today's video. We're going to play, enjoy some of the sunshine. And I wanted to tell you guys that I was given the permission to show you the video that I've been working on for Pastor Dave. He already showed it off and and uh, everybody loved it. So before we end and leave you guys for today, I want you to see that which we'll play now and with that we will see you all right back here next time. The Amazing McKenna. Little hand wrapped around my finger and it's so quiet in the world tonight. Little eyelids flutter cause you're dreaming So I tuck you in and turn on your favorite night light To you, everything is funny You've got nothing to regret I'd give all I have, honey If it could stay like that Oh, darling, don't you ever grow up Don't you ever grow up Stay this little Oh, darling, don't you ever grow up, don't you ever grow up, it can be this simple, I won't let nobody hurt you, won't let no one break your heart, no one will desert you, just try to never grow up. in the car on the way to the movies and you're mortified your mom's dropping you off at 14 there's so much you can't do and you can't wait to move out someday and call your own shots but don't make her drop you off around the block remember she's getting older too and don't lose the way that you dance around in your pjs getting ready for school and Oh, darling, don't you ever grow up, don't you ever grow up, stay this little. Oh, darling, don't you ever grow up, don't you ever grow up, it could be this simple. No one's ever burned you, no one's ever left you scarred, and even though you want to, just try to never grow up. Take pictures in your mind of your childhood room Memorize what it sounded like when your dad gets home 
Remember the footsteps, remember the words to all your childhood favorite songs. Cherish every moment because soon it will be time to move on. So here we are, it's graduation. Before too long, we'll be sending you off. New adventures. Surely you're waiting, new friends, new school, and then a job. But right before we turn this page, this father's heart just has to say, I'm proud of how you've grown up. I'm proud of how you've grown up Oh, darling, oh, darling Since the day you were born we've been letting go You've grown your roots, now spread your wings and fly Enjoy this time Enjoy your life It's okay to grow up